I'll keep digging, though. Take it easy. Sheriff. Come on, Graham, please. Graham, I probably should have asked you in the first place. I'm actually looking for some information on something that may have happened a few years ago. The death of two children. Um, murder, possibly. Now, wh why would you be looking up something like that? I'm kind of embarrassed to talk about it, but there's been some strange incidents going on at the house, and it is affecting the kids. Mm -hmm. It's almost as if... Sounds like you're ghosts again. Yeah. The only person who ever died in that house was Mrs. Mrs. Templeton. I know. I'm not saying this happened in the house. Or that it happened at all. But mm -hmm. there are some very curious things going on. Well, I guess that was the biggest case this town has ever had. Biggest thing since I got here, anyway. Chloe Markle and Joshua Norris. That guy Manias jumped them on their way back from school. Never found the bodies. How did they know then? Oh, there was plenty of circumstantial evidence. And there was his confession, which is a little bit shaky, I'll admit. Why? Jack Manias was a drifter. He spent his whole life in and out of institutions. He picked up the habit of confessing to things that he didn't do. Well, why was he taken seriously? Well, because, like I say, this time there was evidence against him. Did you think he was guilty? I... I was just a deputy. I... really wasn't my case. I will say this. It could have been handled better. It was an election year, and... People figured maybe there was kind of a rush to judgment. You know? Fact is, though, Jack Manias went to prison eight years ago, and since then... Not a thing. Maybe that's just a coincidence. Are their families still in town? The victims? <laughs> well, you're taking this pretty seriously for a guy who's just curious. I have two kids. My house was attacked. Wouldn't you take it serious? 